Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike Colleen at CrackedFemaleCode.com Alright, so there's a phrase or two phrases that we hear a lot uh, ever since we're kids. Oh, you gotta have self-respect, you know, you gotta respect yourself. You know, we hear that all the time or even, even self-love, okay? So, I mean, it, I didn't really learn until, like, it's like, well, what does that mean? Until probably 10, 15 years ago. Now, I'm, I'm a lot older than probably most of you guys on this channel. But if you don't understand this, you're going to you're gonna stumble and bumble through life. Let me tell you something. More than 90%, I would say more than 97% of all the advice you get is empty advice. Zero calories. My almost my entire career working with people, I will hear them say something and be like, "Do you even know what that means?" And universally, they actually don't. They might give me some bullshit reason. And then when I break it down, they're like, "Oh, I, I didn't know that." And then when I break it down, I'm like, "Man, that actually makes a lot of sense." Like, yeah, it does. Here's one. It's when Bruce Lee says, "Empty your mind, be formless, be shapeless, be like water, my friend." Now, I, I hear a lot of like, okay, I was, a, I was a fought on the national level in kickboxing, state champion in boxing, wrestling, etc., etc. Studied martial arts since I was four years old. I have yet, not once, have I met anyone who's involved in martial arts on a top, top level or a low level or middle level, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai. Not one person that walks around saying, empty your mind, be formless, my friend. It, like, they, and I'll just say, what does that mean? They're like, well, I mean, you know, it kind of means... Uh... Now, the reason why they don't understand what it means is because it's coming from their left brain. So now I'm, I'm going into it right now. I'm actually going to teach you what it means. And, I, and this video is going to teach you how to do it. So the whole, vi all of my teachings are how. How do you do this really cool thing that someone says that everyone repeats but don't even know that there's a how to it? They're like, wait a minute, wait, what do you mean a how? If you don't know how to do these really cool phrases, you don't actually understand what the hell they, they mean. You don't even understand what they're telling you. So I'll give you a very short, short, brief synopsis of that because it's something I teach you in my training. It's something you have to teach you. You have to practice, practice, practice until you pop. So here's what Bruce Lee means. Whenever, okay, I was in boxing and kickboxing and one thing they would always tell you when you, when you step into the ring is like, stay loose, Mikey, stay loose, shake it off, shake it off, like shake it out, shake it out. Well, what does that physically do neurologically to your system? It opens you up to your right brain. When you are loose, you are in your right brain. When you are tight and uptight, you're in your logical left brain, which is the male brain. A lot of men will do sports from the left brain and they can't figure out, well, I feel like I'm stuck. Like, why is that guy so much better? Why is he so much smoother? Why can he transition from move to move to move to move? It's because he's open to his right brain. The right brain is the emotional brain. It's the emotional processor. It is also the energy of water. So if you've studied martial arts long enough or even to some basic detail, you know there's a hard form and a soft form. The hard form is the closed fist. The soft form is the open palm. So open is right brain. The right brain is the open brain. It's when you're open to the open neurological system, okay? Literally, physically, neurologically. When you're in the closed system, you're in the left brain, which means you're closed. And this turns women off. It's also a very limited way of fighting. It's, it's the blind form of fighting because you don't have greater awareness. Where the right brain has greater awareness. Now you can see, it's like you look, okay, it's when you look at his, like at his face or his forehead in kind of a vague way. But you notice he moved his right shoulder slightly, which means his hand's coming or his leg or this or that. So you see the overall bigger picture, but most guys will pinpoint on the chin or the eyes. And that's going to be, that's going to make you blind to them throwing hooks and kicks and roundhouses and stuff like that. So to teach you how to do this, because men in general, I, I've yet to meet a guy in, in public yet or in my business that, that are not stuck in their left logical brain. When a woman sees this, it's a turn off. 
When you open up to your right brain, it's a massive turn on and women will make love to you. When you're stuck in your left brain, it is a huge headache for women. They don't like it. And this is eventually after they marry you, they're going to eventually leave you. They're going to be like, I just can't do this anymore. I'm done. And they'll leave because it's like literally it tightens up their head. They can't think in an open way because that's the closed way, the closed fist, the closed mind. So when Bruce Lee talks about empty your mind, be formless, my friend, be like Wata, that's what my course will teach you how to do. To explain it right now would take hours. To teach it to you takes even more hours. It's a conditioning effect. But for this video, I can teach you what it means when someone says to have self-respect or self-love or to respect yourself. So it's really simple. I'm going to teach you the how because that's really what this is all about. So when someone says, you know, you, you need more self-love. Okay, so women are saying this to men more because if, okay, if you can't love yourself, you can't love her. It's not physically or neurologically possible or emotionally possible. See, it's like saying, oh, you know, you need me to lift up 300 pounds because you dropped it bench pressing on your throat. But if you can't lift up 300 pounds, you can't help them. So first, you got to be strong enough to do that so you can do it for someone else. It's the same thing with love. If you can't love yourself, you can't love them. Now watch this. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. What do you think it means when someone says, oh, you need to love yourself or you need self-love or self-respect? Just stop the video and write it down or type it out. Like type a couple, like what do you think it means? I want you to do this because trust me, what I'm going to tell you is going to shock you. All right. So... When someone says you need to love yourself or have self-love, it literally means to protect yourself emotionally. Here's what I mean. So let's say you're on a date with a girl who's being rude, disrespectful to you. You get up and you leave. You literally protect your heart. If someone's mean, rude, disrespectful, you don't sit there and take it. You get up and you physically leave. You you block them on your phone, you block them on the email, you block them on social media. That's it. You're done. No more. That's self-love and that's self-protection. Self-protection is self-love. Self-protection is self-respect. Most guys will write down like, oh, well, you got to respect yourself so you, you know, you don't you don't go to clubs, you don't drink, or you don't, you know, like, I don't know, like you watch your diet, you know, stuff like that. Those are nice things, but self-respect means if somebody attacks you on an emotional, personal level, you're just done with them. You just write them off. You don't argue, you don't fight. You just get away. You, you, you get up and walk away. In my 30s, my ex-girlfriend broke my heart, and she was quite mean, actually. Um, it's a long story. I'm not going to get into it. So I didn't date for quite a while. I mean, years after that, a few years after that. And I remember going on my first date and this girl was just really disrespectful. Okay. I'm going to make this story short because I already shared it with you in another video. So I just told her, said, Hey man, if you do that again, I'm going to leave. And she goes, do what? I go be disrespectful like that. She goes in like, she literally had, had no, cause she was so used to being disrespectful to men. Cause most men put up with it is <clears throat> she's just like, what are you talking about? Because it was her normal way of being. I thought, yeah, and I go, I'm not going to put up with this. She did it again about three, four minutes later, something like that. I grabbed my coat, keys, walked out, got in my car, drove home. By the time I got home, she called me. She goes, where are you? You still in the bathroom? I'm like, no, I'm at home. Because you had to walk by the bathroom to go out the front door. So she assumed I went to the bathroom. Now, before I ever did this, I thought I would feel bad, make her feel bad, and I'd feel bad. And I, and I got to tell you something. I actually felt good about myself. It's like, man, that actually feels good. So then it happened another time. I went on another date, I don't know, two weeks later, whatever, with another girl, different girl. And same thing. I said, hey, man, if you disrespect me again, I'm going to leave. 
sure enough she did i got up walked out and this time i was about halfway down the highway before i got home she called she goes where are you i'm like i'm on the freeway she goes what are you talking about i go i'm in my car going home she goes why i thought you were in the bathroom I'm like no i walked out the door i told you if you disrespect me again i was going to walk out I've got to tell you something, nothing made me feel better than doing that. I mean, it was the weirdest thing in the world because I always thought that that would make me feel bad about myself. No, it's because I finally protected that inner being inside and that's what started to feel good. That call it your inner self, your inner child, call it whatever you want to call it. And that is all of a sudden, and, and here's the thing, a lot of confidence that guys try to do, that's not confidence at all. It comes from inside from protecting that thing, that being, that spirit, your unconscious mind, call it whatever you want. When you protect that, it starts to feel better, not you. And when it feels better, you start to feel better. It's not, it's not something you can fake. It's not something you can act or make up. And here's the deal. You start feeling better about yourself. So the next time someone disrespects you, it, be it becomes more automatic. You don't even think about it. You're like, yeah, you know, I'm out of here. I don't, I don't deal with this. And you start to gain this internal self-esteem, this self-respect, this inner confidence. And it starts to show in the way you look at people, in the way you talk to people, in the way your body, your body language, your, your gestures. It shows in the way you carry yourself, the way you physically hold your spine. You're not doing it. Co so if you're like, hmm, so shoulders back, head up, chin down. No, I'm telling you, you cannot do this logically. It has to be natural from doing, from physically going, yeah, this person is being rude, mean, I'm out of here. When you do that, something shifts inside and you can't fake that. And here's the deal. Women will see it. They'll feel it and they're going to be attracted to you. Because this is what they're looking for in a guy. In a guy who doesn't let people walk all over him. Here's another reason why. If you have self-respect and you protect yourself, you are much more likely to protect your own children. For men that don't have self-respect, who don't stand up for themselves, who don't walk away from people who are mean, rude, and disrespectful, they tend not to to uh, protect their children emotionally when people are being rude to them. Another factor that women are more aware of than men, people who love themselves have the actual ability to love others. People who do not love themselves, guess what? They, they're not any good at loving other people. They generally tend to be disrespectful, boundary busters, walking over people, ba people's boundaries, etc., etc. But people have, who have self-respect, so listen, to, listen to this closely. You have it. Now you can be it. Now you can do it. See, if you have self-respect, that means you are a respectful person. Because you physically have respect, you're respectful of others. If you don't have respect, if you don't have self-respect, which is respect, you can't respect anyone else. It's, it's not physically possible. You know, essentially, here's the way most relationships work. Since I'm talking about men, I'm going to talk about you. Because this is what's going to benefit you to hear. Is for men that don't love themselves, what they're essentially expecting is for a woman to come into their life and to love them even when you won't love yourself. So essentially a woman's going to go, okay, so let me get this straight. So you want me to love you even though you don't love you. Make that make sense. Seriously, make that make sense. If you don't respect yourself, how do you expect other people to respect you? Again, make that make sense. If you don't have $100, how can you give someone else a hundred dollars? No, seriously, go ahead, give it a shot. Make that make sense. When you start to learn how to love yourself, which I will teach you in the course, all of a sudden something shifts inside you. So let me repeat that last thing again. If you don't have love, if you don't learn how to love yourself in a million years, how are you going to love someone else? It's not possible. 
And that's what a lot of guys don't get. But to women, it stands out like a sore thumb. If you don't have love, you can't give love. If you don't have anything, you can't give it. See, when you be okay, when you start to love yourself, you're some I'm telling you, just think of it like a like there's this little child inside that's really sensitive. When you ignore it, it feels really bad and that causes you to to lose self-esteem, self-respect. It causes you to go into depression. When you start to love that, it lights up. It's like boom, all it's like literally like you'll stand up or upright and you won't even know you're doing it. See, a lot of guys think, oh, I'm going to fake it. I'm going to stand upright against, even though my body wants to, your body will eventually slump down the minute you forget about standing upright. And she's going to see that the moment you do it. When, when you develop this sense of self-love, the self-respect, something inside you changes. That's all I'm going to say. And it's like, okay, think of it like this. You become this ball of energy that's loving, this wonderful, loving confident comfortable person to be around versus this guy gets angry all the time and and someone says the littlest thing or he misunderstands it yell at them and scream ah. see women can see you doing this they can see you doing it to other people they can see you doing it to them to them to yourself and it's like you're this ball of chaotic anger i don't feel loved i don't feel important i don't feel special see if you're looking for someone outside of you to make you feel special you're never going to feel special for the rest of your life. It'll never happen. You will never get special. Once you start to treat yourself like you're special, talk to yourself like you're special, be special to yourself, you start to feel special. It works from the inside out, not the other way around. See, a woman doesn't want you to rely on them to make you happy. See, if you're this happy, loving ball of energy... You go out into the world and, and people can feel this. They can see it. They're like, wow, this guy's a really happy guy. And people want to be around that. You don't have to ask them. You don't have to trick them. You don't got to pay for dinners. You don't have to do anything. It's like, wow, this guy's like, I like being around his energy. I like being around the way he is. And on top of that, they don't have to work. And that's and that's that's just it. Women will say it's like they're God, it's like a job. It's like I'm babysitting this little boy that I've constantly gotta make him happy. He's crying, he's sad. And here you are, a grown ass man, and she's gotta babysit you. It's a freaking job, and she's not even getting paid. And it's not fun. So I've got a quick video clip of the Benef here. Um, first of all, I did an anchor on him. It's a laugh anchor where he just laughs every time I do it. Uh, by the way, I'm a master hypnotherapist and NLP trainer, if you haven't figured that out. And so in the video, he talks about why he was so angry. And I think it's going to shock you. Oh, and by the way, the male brain is the external brain. So we're always trying to do things external that turns a woman off so the reason why I bring this up because a lot of you are probably hearing me from the external left brain not quite understanding what I'm saying I'm not saying walk up to women say hey I self love myself no that's not the way you do it hey look you know, I'm good to myself I, I took myself out to dinner last night and I bought myself some cake which is a good thing but if you're doing it to impress someone externally other outside of your body you actually did not do it it's something you do for yourself with yourself. It has nothing to do with other people at all. If you're doing it to tell another woman, oh, hey, look what I do for myself. I'm a good guy. Nope, you just blew it. All right, let's talk to Abenov. Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mike and Abenov. Let's get Abenov in there. The sun is freaking intense. I don't know if this is picking it up. The wind's probably intense. But I'm going to do a little funny reindeer thing and make them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> now, again, that's hypnosis. I just either ain't that much. Okay, let me see if I can reverse that. All right, so there should be a button right there. I don't see it, though. Damn. It should be at the bottom. No, it should be. At, it's usually up here. I don't see it, man. So... Fuck it, I'll do the reindeer thing when you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> he can't help it, dude. What are you laughing for, dude? I'm get interrupted. Right, so, so what okay, so what was it that you really you were saying like this is what I've been looking for my whole life? I wanted to feel 
powerful. Okay, so well, I told you before that uh, I used to be like just my my way of me feeling powerful was just being angry, and I used to be angry a lot. Right. And yeah, I told you that it's just it was the only way that I could feel like powerful, like being angry, and just, you know, when I took your course and that moment, like we're in the gym and this is just what shifted about about what you thought was powerful? Well, what I really thought was power was not power at all. Right. It was like putting the brakes on, huh? Mm -hmm. Would you say that a lot of men do that and they think it... Because it feels powerful, though, doesn't it? it? It feels like you can... What do you say? But it's not. Yeah, it feels powerful, but it, you, you tell it's... It's only hurting you. Right. It's 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 putting on the brakes. Yeah. It's stopping you from getting what you want, whether it's a pretty girlfriend, more money, whatever. I think um, the reason why a lot of guys do it just because when I when I experienced that thing with you, the, the session in the chair, it's like it, it was the most power I've ever felt, but it was so different than the power that I'm used to that I didn't even know like something like that existed. Different power. Yeah. And from there, it was like... So, do you remember what you were saying about last night when you were sitting on the couch and you are like, dude, this is like everything I've ever looked for. It's like everything I've wanted in my life and this and this is it. Do you remember that? Talk about that. I just wanted like fulfillment in life. I wanted power. I wanted more of like... You know what I think you were saying? You were saying like how your life was before that, how you used to pace all night long when you were angry. And then go from there and then tell what was the shift, like what changed. It's really hard to explain and put into words. It's something you have to experience. That's why he's struggling to express this. I told you, I just wanted to feel like my power okay all right this is what i wanted to say all right it's like i wanted to feel the power so bad that i was willing to be angry and just live in like this really shitty world of just hate right you know i was willing to would go you there. say that a lot of people do that would you say that a lot of people across the world they have all this hate in them and it's not really the people they're projecting it onto it's because they don't feel their own power yes so once you step into your own power, what happens? What's as the difference? Soon, as soon as it happened, as soon as it happened, it was so different. It was for me. The moment that it happened, it was like this. This is what I'm looking for. Well, right. There's no. There's. There's no anger. There's just. It's just like a like. Flow. Yeah, yeah. It's flow. You you have it. It's fucking simple. It's your what it is. You're in a technically. It's called your in alignment. Is that what it feels like? You're just like everything is boom. It's there, and you can do whatever you want. You can start a business. You can be better in boxing, kickboxing. You it's can. Like, it's like there's zero effort. <laughs> it's like everything is just flowing. It's just like it's like you're not trying at all. It's like you're not trying. To Grasping and the, the, the trying to get more power, and, the, and you just do. Yeah, it's smooth as fuck. So there's a series of techniques that I'm going to work with you, condition into. This is called the internal awareness section. It's a third of the course. Okay, so what a benef is talking about, he popped open like he was like, holy shit. So he, essentially, here's what's going on, guys especially for men we're very left brain when you're in the left brain you have the brakes on i know it's logical you're like oh this is what life's all about now that is like the that's one percent of your power one percent i'm going to teach you to how to tap into the other 99 percent and essentially what you're doing is you just take the brakes off see you ever heard like tony robbins talk about unlimited power well during the nlp trainings we learned about limiting beliefs and conflicting beliefs and limiting rules and all kinds of limitations so when you're in your left brain the left brain is about rules structure and organization it is a made-up 
fantasy world. It's not real, but it's surrounded by a bunch of rules, okay? And all of these rules keep you stuck and it keeps you limited. What I'm going to do when I come in, when you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to break all these limitations. I'm going to open them up. I'm going to show you like, look, this isn't even real. This is just a belief you took on when you're a kid. So I think I'm going to leave this video at that. This went way longer than I expected. So the number one thing a woman's looked for in a man is shown his self-respect and self-love. It is. Here's one thing I'm going to tell you that's going to shock you. It actually attracts women to you. It is an emotional turn on and a sexual turn on. The reason why is because when you do this, it allows her to drop down inside emotionally and that connects her to her mating system and it doesn't cost you a dime and it's what she really wanted in the first place when women are with men for their money they're literally with them for their money they're not with them because of them so that's something that a lot of men it's you're you're until you cross over to the other side you can't understand this these these uh this concept I can logically tell it to you but until you experience a woman being attracted to you physically for you I can tell talk to them blue in the face because I know your left brain no it's all about money it's all about being being tall I'm not tall I'm not tall at all I'm not even close to being tall see right there those are your limiting beliefs it's like doors that you have shut nope I believe it's about being tall got to have a big bank account you got a fucking I don't know fucking know what the other ones are but you got to this you got to that all of these things keep you in that box and the left brain is literally what they call the in the box thinking the right brain is when you open up and you see the truth if you want to see the truth first of all buy my book crack the female code better yet Get the ultimate package because it has this book, Get the Girl, Keep the Girl in it, and Cracked Female Code, okay? So that's it for right now. First of all, you got to read my book, Get the Girl, Keep the Girl, and my book, Cracked Female Code, before you take the course. So the next step is then you take the course. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com or CrackedFemaleCode.com. Um, remember, if you like this video, if you want to learn more, click the subscribe button, click the all bell. Uh, click the like and go ahead and make a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.